Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Wrexham FC manager Phil Parkinson. Before anything, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe as 89.1% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please help us reach 2,500 subscribers. It'd be much appreciated. Let's get into the video. So we're going to be talking today a bit about manager Phil Parkinson and what his future looks like as a Wrexham FC manager. Are we prepared to keep him for the full season or are we looking to reevaluate? So after a horrendous 0-0 draw to 17th place Wildstone yesterday, a lot of Wrexham fans have been left angry and frustrated by the lack of creativity in the team yesterday. We do sit ninth place in the National League. We are actually closer to 19th place than we are to top spot points-wise. Our chances of winning the league this season, which was our aims before the season started, they look very, very slim and don't look like happening at all now. Sean Harvey recently came out in an exclusive interview done with the football club and he said the exact words... Phil and his scouts are identifying the targets we are going to try and sign in January. This tells us only one thing. The board at Wrexham are ready to give Parkinson as much time as it takes. It clearly shows us they'll be keeping him for the next few months. Up until January, we have a couple of very tough games uh, we've got eight games from now until the 5th of January, some of those being Notts County away, Halifax away, Bromley at home, we've got Yeovil, Altrincham, a string of very tough games. Now the thing is, I do like Parkinson as a manager, I think he's a very experienced manager and knows the game very well. I just think his football, the way he plays, isn't the way forward for this football club, it doesn't suit the team we've got and I if I'm being brutally honest, I don't think it is the way to play to get us out of this league. Now, my main thought is, did before he came to Wrexham, did he underestimate the National League? Now, his style of play might have worked elsewhere at Bradford and Bolton, but it's very hard to play five at the back in the National League and somehow get promoted. I don't think I've ever seen a team do that. And I think playing five at the back and two up front is not the way forward and I don't really don't think at this moment in time we will reach the playoffs. It's all well and good scoring six against Kings Lynn and getting the fans happy again, but we need to be doing this against bigger and better teams. I think I he can definitely turn this around. I think if we can get a couple of good results together, hopefully a win on Tuesday night and then we're back at the race course against Bromley on Saturday and Yeovil on Tuesday. We need to get behind the team and hopefully we can pull through. We're still unbeaten at home in the National League, but it's fair to say a lot of those have been draws and very poor performances. I don't think I've seen a score more than one at home this season. So, we, yeah, we need to start picking things up and start improving. I've still got complete faith in Parkey, and I hope he can turn things around at the club and get the fans happy again. We'll see at the start of December whether the fan base will be extremely happy with the results we've had or extremely toxic. So yeah, that's just a quick one from me. I just think Wrexham will stick with Parkinson from January and beyond. If he can get a couple of good plays in in January that just to fill uh, the gaps in midfield and, it's, and hopefully another striker, I think we'll be all set and I'm hoping we can get top four. We've given ourselves a bit of a a bit of a tough time at the minute, but we need to get back on track and hopefully get that home playoff game. Please make sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you are new as well, turn the bell notification on, and let me know in the comments what do you think of this whole situation, are you Parkinson in or Parkinson out? Do you think he's the right man to take Wrexham to the Football League? And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.